All right, Justin, grab that foot. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so what's going on here? We got him. All right, so Adam is going to be demonstrating how to do the L5-S1 LDOA. We're going to be creating a little bit more space between that L5 vertebra and uh, the top of the sacrum. So for this active stretch, he's going to bring his sit bones up against the wall. So I want you to feel for your sit bones actually making contact with the wall. Okay. Got it? Is okay. the wall cold, Adam? It is, right on my, my bungholio. Cold and unforgiving. Perfect, your bungholio should be touching the wall. Okay. Now your feet are gonna be your hips width apart, so bring them a little bit closer. Oh, closer. Closer, yeah. And you're actually gonna internally rotate at the hip. Perfect. Okay. Right, so both sides. <laughs> Already. Nice. Hamstrings lighting up. Yeah, good times, right? <sighs> okay, so don't worry about pressing your knees back towards the wall just yet if it's, oh, okay. we're just setting up right now. Okay. Okay, now it's better to do it without socks, but spread your toes and Pretend like you're putting your big toes in your mouth, right? <laughs> okay. I like where I'm this is going. Perfect. Interesting. Okay. I'm so, already, calves are already lighting up, hamstrings are already lighting up. Perfect. Now tuck your chin, and you're gonna keep your eyes open, but I want you to kind of look through the space between your thighs. So your eyes are really directing a lot like, of the stretch, hey but your head is gonna keep contact with the floor. Well, how the hell am I supposed to do that? Just like intention. That? Yeah, okay. exactly. I got you. Perfect, now breathe. Okay, one arm at a time, you're gonna push up towards the ceiling with the palms up, good. Bring the other arm up, same position. Fingertips flex, flexed back, so you're pushing right here through the palms. Got it. Okay, you're also gonna be pushing through the heels. Okay. You're also gonna be sending your tailbone through that wall. Okay. Tuck your chin, lengthen out your cervical spine. Good, take a deep breath. And now one arm at a time, it's gonna come back by your ear. Imagine your bicep is right next to your ear, Fingertips flex back. Good. Keep breathing as you move. Oh, yeah. Other one. Look at those lines of stretch there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now, so Adam is pushing up through his heels, still internally rotated here, big toes in the mouth. Send your tailbone out through the wall. Send the crown of the head back through the front door. Push through the palms. The last thing, you're going to press L5 into the floor. Okay. Good. So you're going to feel your abs turn yeah. on here. Just stay with your breath. And your aim is to hold it for a minute, but you may just start with 15 seconds, you might start with 30 seconds. Once you get a little more advanced into it, you might have somebody give a little bit of pressure here, yeah. so that make sure you're pushing, push, push, push against me. Tuck your chin, good. Look through your thighs, breathe. Big belly breaths, push up through your heels. Good, Sal, can you tap his heels just to give him a little feedback there? Right just tap, 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 push. Good, press L5 down into the floor. Oh, okay. Nice, yeah. there you go. Oh, okay. Tough to do it while breathing also. It is, it is. You know, a lot to concentrate, you automatically right, right, hold right. your breath, that's so probably. When you come out of this now, you don't wanna just rebound out of it, so nice and slow, bring one arm at a time back up to the starting position. Breathe as you move. Good, now bend both knees, feet flat on the wall. And in one movement, you're gonna roll your hips and your shoulders over to one side. You're just gonna roll over. Just roll over to over one to side. Over to you? No, uh, no like just that. over to one me. side. Oh, like this. Yeah, roll over backwards. Yeah, but that's he, how to get out. Do you see of how it. he did his hips first? Uh huh. Yeah. So you want to roll in one piece so when I, you're coming out of that position. So I'm rolling with my. Yes, it's like your entire body is just rolling Excellent. over to one side. And the purpose of that particular movement is is to create more space at the L5-S1 junction. This is so, a very common area where people have issues. Anterior L5-S1, pelvic tilt, right? L4, L5, very common areas where people have spinal problems. So this is, in, in x-rays it has been shown, uh, in MRI reports it has been shown, if you do this every single day, um, I think the, the research study was, it was 365 days that this woman did this and she had degenerative disc disease and the after MRI actually showed that she created more space at that level. Wow, fantastic. So it's all about the lines of tension. I, I heard you keep mentioning that, like push out here, pull out here, twist here. You are lengthening the spine as much as possible. This movement with the arms puts all the fascia on tension and what you're doing is by putting your body in that very specific position, you are able to isolate that one segment of the spine. Excellent. And then there are other LDOAs that very, look different. Very other segments of basic the spine. yet advanced at the same time. Like there's a lot of intention to each, you know, like having, having you cue me was crucial. Like You can't space out on this. No, huh? you can't. It's yeah. not a passive stretch. As soon as you gave me one cue, all of a sudden I felt myself letting go of another cue and then reminding me back. So I think right. that even though it looks so basic, there's a lot of things you need to be doing mentally as far as focusing on all Definitely. this. Definitely. 
And now you recommend holding this for 15 seconds to a minute, and then do you do sets of this or just do one? Um, some people do it throughout the day if they have spinal problems, but you definitely want to do it when you're warm. So after exercise is a good time. Before bed is also a great time to do LDOAs. Um, and one more thing that I wanted to add um, is the, the intention that you're talking about is very powerful. So even directing your eyes you know, down through that space, that is going to create more traction through the cervical spine when you're looking down. So you don't want to close your eyes while you're doing this. You're, you're very focused and you're doing your belly breathing at the same time. Excellent. Great tip.